Hi, this is Jan from Be Visible Web Design. Today I'm going to show you how to bulk upload images to a WordPress site. So for this particular site, we have products on the site, WooCommerce products, and we would like to bulk upload some images. Sometimes we have a bunch of products that uh, the client would like to put on at once. So we'll go to Media Library in, in the dashboard, go Media and then Library. And then click add new and here you have the choice of either drag and drop if you have the file open or we'll just upload select and upload images from our computer which we're doing in this case so hold down control when you're selecting images and then you'll be able to select multiple images just like any other application i just chose these wolf images that i used for a project with my daughter um, don't sell wolves, but you'll notice in the alternative text here, it says wolf for sale. So alternative text is useful for both SEO and people that don't see well. It describes the image for people that don't see well. Also, the title should have something about your product. So don't put anything in just to, to get SEO. You do need to describe your image. Um, because believe it or not, Google can tell what some images are, but sometimes they can't. And if somebody's doing an image search or even just an internet search, it's going to be better if that image is named what it actually is showing or what you're trying to sell rather than image uh, 305, which tells nobody anything about what's in that image. So um, if you have time, sometimes when we're short on time, we don't always name every image this way, but uh, certainly if you can, it's an important step um, to remember to put in alternative text and title. So uh, there you go. Also the size, you should keep the size pretty small for images. Notice ours are um, like, I think 1900 is the uh, biggest width. Usually if we're manually setting the width, we'll set it to uh, like 1500, 1000 sometimes. We don't really need that big images for the web we have on this uh, site, we have an image compressor, short pixel that uh, uh, sets the upload limit. And if your image is bigger than that, then it makes it smaller. So uh, here I'm just going to, this is how uh, we generally create products on this site. We go to duplicate product because a lot of the things about the product are the same. And then you would just change the title and um, the description for the new product. Now, of course, you change the image because it's a different product. So you remove the the existing image. The big image is the image that you see in the shop. The gallery images are the ones uh, that you see when you click on the product for, for more info about that product. So uh, that's where you would do that. I'm just going to trash this because we don't need it. Quick side note, anything that you trash uh, products or posts, even pages in WordPress, they stay in the trash for 30 days. So if you trash something and you're worried that it's lost forever, um, not unless you forget about it for 30 days, you could always go back and restore it if you click on that trash um, thing up top. Okay, so uh, let's see, I'm going to show you here how to upload it directly from your computer. So if you don't have it in the media library, right, you'll go here to, to set the new product image. And instead, we're going to click Upload File. So this is how you do it one at a time, one file at a time. Same thing if you're doing a blog post, whatever. So uh, yeah, now I would just grab the image that I want. I'd select it as a product image and upload it. Um, and then that would be that. So one last thing, I'll show you how to uh, bulk delete images if you no longer need them. This is good practice. Uh, you don't want um, images hanging around. So you'll select bulk select when you're in the media library. And then you, when you do that, when you have bulk select selected, you can click on a bunch of images and then you'll see that delete permanently comes up. So this is good practice. Uh, if you have images hanging around, they can take up server space and that could eventually slow down your site. So that's all I have and uh, have a great week.